Hey everybody, it's Larry, your old pal from Monster Movie App, back with a video review, finally, of this sexy honey, this green screen thing, <laughs> pardon the green screen there, a uh, German angst from Artsploitation Films. Uh, they sent me this, my old buddy Ray over there sent me this to review. Uh, a while back, and I apologize to Art Exploitation because it was in the midst of my technical fucking failures. And, uh, you know, I'm back at it now. And you're first on my list. I apologize. Hey, Kieran, you'll, you'll get that message 20 minutes later, Kieran. I'm trying. I'm trying to fix it. So, uh, as with our video reviews, I'm going to go through past releases. I'm going to go through the features of the current release and the transfer. And then at the end of all that noise, I will tell you whether I would upgrade if I already owned the previous copy or if I would buy it outright like that. And then we're fucking out of here, you know. So uh, this was released originally in two th either 2015 or 2016. I read online 2015. Amazon says 2016. I don't know. I, you and but somewhere in there. So, but I mean, it doesn't matter. It was a fucking. It was a burn on demand Blu-ray R fucking copy of it, and the only special feature was the uh, the trailer, and that was it. So, like, you know, you weren't getting anything fucking special there. So, art exploitation films, in their infinite fucking wisdom, said. Let's fucking re-release it with the fucking shit it deserves, because it's a fucking killer fucking anthology, if you haven't fucking seen it. Awesome. I probably should just show it. I'm showing it all the time, right over right over there somewhere. Um, anyway, our exploitation said, let's give it the release it deserves, and they did fucking, they did a nice job. Uh, special features. There's a Q&A at Fantastic Fest in 2015. Uh, where they where they screened it with uh, Andreas Marshall and um, Michael Krowski, I want to say Ko Kosowski, something like that, and uh, Mathen Harris, who's an actor. Uh, Andreas and Michael are both they were both directors, and uh, missing unfortunately was Jorg Bergerest, Bergerest, Bergerite. Something like that. Uh, necromant of necromantic fame and, uh, you know, on and on. Uh, he couldn't make it, I guess. But, um, you know, this fucking uh, Andreas Marshall is a fucking good director. He directed something that I really love that I can't, I can't remember right now. Sorry, I apologize. Um, <laughs> I was going to, I was going to look it up. God damn it. I fucking forgot. Anyway, so there's the, the Q&A with those guys at the at Fantastic Fest uh, 2000, 2015. It's 15 minutes and 36 seconds long. Um, there's a behind-the-scenes uh, footage featurette thing. Uh, it's silent with just music over it, but it's footage behind the scenes. Seven minutes and 56 seconds long. Um, start next crowdfunding video. Um, so it's crowdfunding video, crowdfunding video doesn't make any sense, Larry. I'm going to have some more coffee while I think about stuff. Come on. So it's a start next as a crowdfunding, I guess, website in Europe. It's like, it's like Kickstarter here, but over there. So they have a video of them begging their fans for money, 7 minutes and 46 seconds long. Uh, and then there's an American version for Kickstarter. That crowdfunding campaign video of them begging American fans for money, 6 minutes and 52 seconds long. Uh, two trailers, not one, not one, but two, everybody. Uh, and not one, but two teaser trailers. Um, none of these special features are listed on the, on this fucking art on the, uh, the box itself. And I don't get that. I don't understand why it's like, you know, this car is going to come with like Bose surround sound, but, uh, we're not going to tell anybody, you know, like 
It's going to have fucking like, you know, $5,000 chrome rims on your, on the car, but uh, we're not going to mention it. You know, like it's, you'll find out later. Like, why are you not pimping it? I don't understand. So, uh, a minor bitch is about the disc itself. I've ran it through its paces. I watched it again. I was actually lucky enough to get a copy of German Angst when it was still in Germany and uh, loved it. Really cool. Like I said, it's a good anthology. Gory, brutal, sad. All of it. It's all on there. Um, so uh, I got to watch it again in Blu-ray, which was nice. Better quality for sure. And um, a bitch about the disc, though. There's uh, some issues with the authoring of the disc. Uh, it's impossible to, like, if you click on a special feature and you're watching it, it's impossible to fucking, like, just hit the top title menu or fucking anything else to get out of that special feature. You literally have to fast forward to the end, and then it'll take you back to the menu. There's no fucking, there's no way out of it. It's... It's retarded. I'm sorry, art exploitation. Whoever is doing your authoring, you might want to fucking get on that because that's unheard of. Also, um, when you're watching the movie and you want to go back to like the menu screen, the only way to do that is if you have a pop up uh, menu button on your on your remote, and then you can fucking escape the movie. Otherwise, I guess you fast forward it all the way. But uh, those are some minor fucking issues with the disc. Um, you know, it's a little fucking claustrophobic feeling trying to fucking like, it's like you're trapped in the fucking, in the special features in the movie. And, uh, it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Uh, the transfer of the movie is amazing. Obviously it was shot in high def. They didn't probably didn't even have to do any work on it. Um, it's not that old of a film. So, uh, that's, that's beautiful. The sound is beautiful. Um, loaded with special features, minor fucking minor authoring issues, uh, but overall really fucking nice. So uh, what are we going to do? We're going to say like, that didn't work. So if I already owned the 2015 or 2016 Blu-ray burned on, blue, burned on demand, would I... Would I upgrade right there? And uh, the answer is, yeah, fuck yes. Of course I would. It's, uh, you know, there was nothing on the, the burn on demand. Uh, you know, burn on demand, I can burn on demand at home. You know, like, uh, it's, I don't, you know, it's no, nothing fucking spectacular about that. Usually cheesy cases. Um, they don't, they don't put any money into those. I've gotten them. So, uh I would definitely upgrade from that. A fuck yes to get the special features and everything on here. Um, would I buy it? Would I buy it as indicated over this way somewhere? Um, and the answer to that, as you probably can guess, would I buy it? I, the answer is fuck yes. It doesn't say fuck on there, but like it should. Fuck yes. Um, it's a solid release. It's a solid release. Even though our exploitation films doesn't want you to know if you read, if you're like, if you're in the store and you pick this up, trust old Larry. Don't listen to our exploitation films because they, they want to, they, they want to keep it a secret for some reason. Um, this, even though it looks like it's not, it's loaded with stuff. It's loaded with special features that you will enjoy. So buy it. And it's fucking dirt cheap. I think it's like only 10 bucks on Amazon right now. Good movie, good fucking, good release. Um, nothing, except for, you know, the authoring thing. But, like, that's not really that big of a deal. So, uh, that's my review, everybody. Thank you, uh, Artsploitation Films, for sending that to me. I'm sorry that this review was a little late. But, uh, you know, I had to buy a new computer and fucking webcam. And all the fucking works. It, you know, I had issues. Larry had issues. So uh, until next time, everybody, that's our entire review. Um, as always, I bid you adieu and get the fuck out of my house. Bye.